The areas surrounding Redding, California are beautiful. Places like Whiskey Town or Lassen or Mount Shasta. But when you're actually in the city limits, there's no more beautiful place to come than the Sundial Bridge and the Turtle Bay Exploration Park. Let's go look around for a bit. Included in Turtle Bay Exploration Park is the Botanical Gardens, where you can walk around for hours looking at the different plants and designs around this area. The stretch of the Sacramento River right below the Sundial Bridge is known as Lunker Lane because there's big rainbow trout in there. And when fishing season is on, you'll see a ton of fishermen cruising right through here looking for the catch of a lifetime. Now the bridge is constructed as such so that none of it touches the water of the Sacramento River and that's to protect the world-renowned salmon runs that come through here. The Sundial Bridge has become a bit of an icon for the city of Reading ever since it was designed and built in 2004. The Sundial itself is actually working, well on summer solstice that is. When the Sundial Bridge was built in 2004, everything was considered to protect the fragile environment of the Sacramento River. That's why the tiles on the bridge are translucent, meaning the sun can actually hit the river during the day. Any part of Turtle Bay Exploration Park and the Sundial Bridge is looped in with the Sacramento River Trail, which can bring you all over town, including the Shasta Dam. Now the highlight of the trip is Turtle Bay Exploration Park. It's a museum, it's got great exhibits, live animals. Let's go have some fun. Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. Thank you, sir, appreciate okay, it. Okay, we got Ryan here. He's gonna give us an exclusive tour of Turtle Bay. You ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, we are here at the uh, Forest Adventure Park. Um, I think I should probably try out the zip line. Let's try this. Okay. I'm putting my life on the line for this video. You guys better appreciate this. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, I gotta do this drop. Ooh! Woo! Whoa. It does. Uh, yeah, this is like a legit uh, rock climbing wall that the kids are on, and then, yeah. And then, the, yeah, the playground up there, you yeah. slide down. All right, we're at the Parrot Playhouse. Let's go play with some parrots. Hi. Hi. All right, well, what are we doing here? How does this work? 
birds than try to take it from you. Do you want to do two at one time? Let's do it. Whoa! Get more birds that way. The more the merrier. Let's All do right, them. Oh! I hope you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, man. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got a red one right here. Hey, buddy. You can feel the wind as they, <laughs> as they come at you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey. You get like frozen. <laughs> oh. Hey, you again. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> This one just stays on my shoulder. He doesn't even want the nectar. He just wants a friend. Oh, so hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. No? There you go. <laughs> well, tell me just a little bit about these parrots. Yeah, so these guys are lorikeets. They're part of the parrot family. We have, um, I believe, 12 different species of lorikeets in oh, here. So yeah, well. we have quite a few different looking ones. <laughs> So you'll notice that they all kind of have different patterns here. Um, they eat nectar, which is what you're feeding them right now. And we actually get it in like a powder form and add water to it. Oh. And mix it up for these guys and they just drink it up all day. They get fed all day and they love it. Rough life. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. They're actually all hand raised, which is pretty oh. unique for most places. Usually they're parent raised, but they're hand raised so they're a lot more used to people and actually will kind of stick around to hang out just like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, turtle bay without turtle. oh, he's a turtle guy. So, turtle power. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the, the plant life and trees that we have like in our botanical gardens and arboretum, um, we choose ones that are native to California. But this is kind of a walk through that redwood coastal right. area. So you get to see what's uh, some of the things up here in North Cal. Where we keep a lot of our animal ambassadors that you'll see in one of the many shows that we have here at Turtle Bay. Ravens. Ravens. Gotta, oh, gotta right, quote, quote the raven, never more. <laughs> a Corvus Corax. <laughs> that is, I mean, dinosaur esque right there. <laughs> what is this? This is a uh, uh, turkey vulture. Oh. Sweet Pea the skunk. And along with her is Spike. <laughs> Spike and Sweet Pea. Spike! Spike! <laughs> oh! Oh! Man. Hi, you're... <laughs> oh, there's oh, a yeah, there's there's, the, the, there's there. the red hill. Yeah. Oh, um, look at how big that thing is. Hey. hey it's your Sharon's husband, right? Yeah. Uh, They're uh, excited to see you. Oh, let's.
So I'm sure you guys have seen Shasta Caverns. Uh, we were just there, actually, really? yeah. So, well, if it's fresh in your memory, here's our replica. All right, Shasta Caverns, let's do this. Yeah. Oh yes, this is, oh I love this. Yeah, so this is our indoor aquarium to kind of replicate what you would see the types of fish and the environment of the Sacramento River. Oh, cool. Oh, a little turtle. Oh, a couple turtles, yeah. yeah. That's a red band trout. Only native to the upper McLeod. Wow. Yeah. Really? I yeah. Didn't yeah. Know that. Yes. That's awesome. Some of our tree frogs and uh, salamanders. Tiger salamander, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Then here is some of our. Um, more kind of no, NorCal Redding history. So we have Perfect. an exhibit on I mean, the Sundial Bridge, the history of that, um, some of the pioneer history of the area. Um, so these are more, um, some of these exhibits stay here. Um, just to, you know, so the people traveling from abroad can come here and learn a little bit more. Learn, about yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, his Santiago, Santiago Calatrava. Calatrava. Yeah. Because the Wintu were big all over. Yeah, yeah, and some of that geographic area. Yeah, here are some of the hunting practices and um, about the resources in this area. And then um, another cool thing in this room, we have a live beehive. So it's like oh, no. Live oh, okay. Here. Oh, they're. Yeah, they're literally in here, and then uh, for a while there, they weren't coming, and then um, they, they showed up here recently. What do you mean? Like, they, they come from outside? Yeah, so there's like a portal right here, and we have a oh. beekeeper that comes regularly and takes care of it. But um, yeah, they're literally coming from the outside, and they found it, and now they're, yeah, maintaining the hive on their own. Just so. need one, and the rest will follow, right? <laughs> Thank you. So this is a uh, Gino. <laughs> yeah, so these are those like interactive modules I was talking about. Yeah. We'll set up fictional situations and kind of put you in that family's um, yeah, decision making like and how genetic science can bring um, value or if you consider it value to that. Right. So hopefully by the end you understand more about um, genetic science but also like what that means to your future. Right. So, yeah. So a cool part of the exhibit too. Kind of this portal into some of the decisions around genetic oh. science. I love how science-y this thing looks. Like someone on Star Trek. <laughs> so this thing. Yeah. These are traveling exhibits. So this is actually a Smithsonian exhibit. Um, oh. yeah, so it's pretty neat that Reading is able to bring in um, that. Um, quality of exhibition here. Interesting. Um, yeah. These are some of our pop-up exhibits that we'll even partner with, like Reading Fashion Alliance. Um, we worked with a few different groups in town. I saw it was just Fashion Week recently, yeah. wasn't it? So yeah. this was one of the highlighted events. This was curated um, locally. Hello. Hello. Whoa! Am I allowed to walk on this? It's a really good So you're going to jump? 
Um, what, what people will do is they'll come here and they grab a pencil and grab the worksheet and then they go through here. Um, and it's this really just this interactive, fun exhibit um, where they can go around. And I feel like they're really going to leave knowing um, what our exhibit team says. If they leave learning one thing, like this right. is success for us. So yeah. I feel like this kind of immersive, fun environment is that way that's like, hey, learning should be fun. And exhibits are a 3D way of learning. So it's a pretty yeah. good experience. You know, really Absolutely. Fun. Wait, am I supposed to reach my hand yeah, in? You should, you should. It was in there. <laughs> I hate you right now. Oh! <laughs> so it's pretty neat. I don't know that you get this kind of connection to uh, you know, the US and even the world through these exhibits. So, right, yeah. 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 History. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan, thanks so much. Hey, appreciate it. Love that was a blast. Uh, I'm covered in uh, nectar yeah. and probably some bird poop on my back. I'm but watch that shirt. Or you <laughs> save it to always remember us here at Turtle Bay. But that's so that, I like that. That might happen. <laughs> that might happen. Thanks a lot. I yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it man. Right. And that concludes our trip to the Sundial Bridge and Turtle Bay Exploration Park here in Redding, California. Thanks to our friends at Visit Redding for sponsoring this video, and thanks to Turtle Bay for giving us an exclusive tour today. I'm Zach with Active NorCal. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay active. Often do they like poop on people? Am I? Do that? Do I really have poop on my back right now? Nice.